Hey, and welcome back to my channel. So I can honestly say that I did not expect to film this video. I already filmed a summer haul with the idea that I was done shopping for Alani for the summer. I normally do my shopping consignment for her and the consignment location around me was not opening and continuously postponing. So I didn't think I would be able to do my consignment shopping and I decided to just go the retail route. If you haven't seen that video, then I will link it up above. So I was very surprised when I got the email that the consignment sale was finally going to happen and I sent the email immediately to my mom and we picked a time that would work for us. The ways that they were able to make it work with the restrictions were to have it at a different location because the location that it is normally at was fully closed. And they also made sure that people wore masks, they had hand sanitizer, and they had time slots. You had to make sure you were going at certain times. They were only selling tickets for certain times in order to be able to limit the amount of people in the area at once. So the craziest thing about it is my mom and I went to the pre-sale, which is before it opens up to the general public. And I was so excited to book the tickets that I didn't even realize that the pre-sale date that we had chosen was Father's Day. So Evan was such a trooper and stayed home with Alani while my mom and I went shopping on Father's Day. Not for him. With my previous haul, I was able to do a blog post on my site and link as many items as I could find. For this, because it is consignment, I don't really bother to link items. I will link the stores that a majority of the items came from, but it is really hard to link actual items because some of these items are years old at this point. Since Gap and Old Navy are basically the same company, I decided I would start with those two because I believe I have the most from those stores. Now, because all of these are secondhand clothes, I did not spend more than $6 on anything that I purchased. Most of the items that I purchased were two to $4, and some of the items were even less than that. I'm going to start with Old Navy. This little dress is black, and it has white stripes on it, but they're in more of a pattern. So there are four or three stripes bunched together throughout the material. And it's kind of just like a swing dress. I got three pairs of shorts. These ones, which are different shades of pink. These ones, which are more of an olive color. And they've got kind of a paper bag waistline. And I can honestly say these are shorter than I would normally go. Not much of an inseam but they were so cute. So they're jean shorts and then they have little stars on them. I have an outfit planned for her for the 4th of July already, but I thought that these could work all through the summer. I got both of these tank tops. I was actually looking for more spaghetti strap and I was looking for something that was more fitted because I do wanna be able to tuck some shirts into her shorts, but this was the best I could do. So I have this in white and I have it in pink as well. And I grabbed a few t-shirts. This one is blue with a little pocket that has a son wearing sunglasses. And Alani loves things with suns, so I decided that this was a shirt she definitely needed. This Disney one, because it's very hard for me to turn down anything Disney. I'm not really big into like large character shirts, but I felt that this was still stylish and not too kitty. And then another thing that I don't normally get is shirts with wording on it, but it says being kind is cool, and in today's climate, I thought this was perfect. This little yellow colored tank actually has space at the bottom to tie and I thought that would just be really sweet. A nice way to dress up any pair of shorts. And then my mom and I fought over this basically <laughs> because I did not love it and she did and she eventually won but I think it's growing on me. The next two items I got would be better for cooler weather but I didn't want to pass them up. The first one is this little dress. So the sleeves are longer, which is why I think it would be better for cooler weather. And it has little foxes on it. And then my mom picked out this pink jacket. She actually had picked out a tan one that Alani wore last year, or actually she wore it in the spring as well. So this is basically the same jacket, just the correct size for her now and a different color. 
Those are all the items that I have from Old Navy, so I'm going to move over to Gap now. Both of these are rompers. This one's blue with little flowers on it, and then it has a ruffle detail on the front. And I really loved the colors of this one because I just feel like they're not typical colors that you see in a little girl's clothing or even a toddler girl's clothing. I had gotten Alani a jean jacket before we went to Disney, but she has definitely outgrown that because that was 18 month. So I got this Gap one. And this one has that comfy material, so it's not a stiff jean jacket. And I do prefer that for a little kid. And you can't go wrong with a sweet white dress. This one did come with the bloomers, which I always love. This was another one that I thought the colors were just different for what you normally see. And I just love polka dots as well. I had done a previous haul where a few clothes in, I realized that almost every shirt that I had purchased had polka dots and I had no idea until I was filming the video. And this is the last dress I got. I love the three different patterns together. I think that is so pretty. And then it has a tiny little bow detail right there and ruffles to make the straps a little wider. But I think this is my favorite out of all of the things that I got from Gap. I decided to put Children's Place and Gymboree together since they are now the same company. But there's only one thing from Children's Place. After all of the stuff that I bought from Children's Place, I'm actually surprised that I only found one thing that I liked at the consignment sale that was Children's Place. This white shirt has, I don't even know what you call it. I feel like on a bag that I had before it was called Ostrich, where it had the little texture dots on it, but I'm not sure what you call it on a shirt. But it ties in the back. And then the next two things were sets. This shirt came with these shorts. And I love the orange detail on these shorts. Like to me, this screams summer vacation and makes me want to go to a beach. These two also came together. It's this sleeveless shirt and then these little shorts. And then I also grouped Oshkosh and Carter's together. I'll do Oshkosh first. This is a little romper. I just loved the little lace detail at the top. And the little spaghetti straps. I don't know what it is about spaghetti straps on little girls, but I just think it's so cute. When Alani was a baby, I had a few spaghetti strap onesies and I just thought it looked adorable on her. Blue and white is just so perfect for the summer. So this has more of the blue on the bottom and then the blue bow. And the coloring of this reminded me of the one gap, I don't remember if it was a dress or a romper that I liked, but I just absolutely loved this pattern on the bottom and I wish you could feel this. It's so soft. Like, I want to wear this. And then the rest of these are Carter's. I got this black and white swimsuit, and now I am on the hunt for the perfect white toddler sunglasses. Heart-shaped or just like cat eye, like something really cute or really classic. I feel like I always have to stop filming for some reason, whether my camera overheats or what, what I'm trying to, but it was crazy outside my window. Someone's dog got loose and ran off toward another person's dog and it just was pure chaos, but everyone's okay. All the dogs are all right. So, um, continuing this now. I got two of these shorts. So I like these types of shorts, the ones that are like bloomers for longer shirts or for when dresses get too short and I start using them as shirts. That is one thing I absolutely love about girls clothes, but these ones can match mostly anything. And then there's actually a shirt later on that I will show in this video that will match these shorts perfectly. And if you've watched my videos from the beginning, then you know how much I love owls. Alani has owls all throughout her nursery and she did need new pajamas. Even though these aren't shorts, um, her room can get a little chilly. So I figured a short sleeve shirt and pants would be just fine. But these ones just have little owls throughout and this one has one owl just in the corner. And these three things I have are random target. Like honestly, one of the brands I know used to be sold at Target and it's not even sold at Target anymore. But this is the art class, so I know they still sell this. And it's a jumper. I thought this was very cute in the sense that 
I would totally see this on a person who wasn't a child. And I honestly have a pair of shorts similar to this that I already got her from Target, but she got chocolate on them and I have not been able to get it out. So when I saw these, I was like, all right, I'm replacing them. She can wear them as like clothes that she can do things where I don't mind her getting messy in but I wanted a pair that was still white. And again, another pair of shorts that can just go with anything. These next three items are all Disney. This skirt has a gold band and then has underneath this part, you can see there's little Minnie Mouse head and then a little gold bow. So the Minnie Mouse is in almost, it looks like a pearl, obviously it's not, but it's like a little pearl detail and then a gold bow. And I honestly got this for more of a dress up. She doesn't really have any dress up clothes, but she loves wearing things that are flowy. So I figure this is a cheap way to do dress up. And girlfriend loves Moana. So I got this shirt. Again, I don't love big character shirts, but I really thought this one was cute and I like the way that Moana is animated on this. It doesn't look like really cartoony. I don't really know how else to explain that. If you've seen Disney's animators collection or whatever it's called, it's just a different style. This is not that at all, but I just love when it doesn't look maybe exactly like the character from the movie. I absolutely adore this skirt. So I hope that you can see it. The detail here is little mini heads. I love that. I really, really love that. There's a company that I'm completely blanking on right now, um, but I've purchased a dress from them before, and unless you were really looking very closely, you would not be able to tell that it was Aladdin themed because just the way it was designed, it just looked like an intricate design throughout the dress. So I love things like that. I am finally down to my last few items. These are all items where I only have one thing per brand, so I'm not even gonna go into what brand each of them is. This is what I said would go really well with those orange shorts, these shorts here. So this will go over top of these shorts. But this is actually limited to, and I don't know about you, I don't know like your age range or anything like that, but I remember Limited 2 when I was younger. Like it's kind of to me like what justice is for girls now. And so when I saw that this was Limited 2, I, nostalgia. I thought this dress was really fun and when I was taking the tags off of everything so that I could wash it, Alani immediately found this, so I know she's gonna love this when I put this on her. It's just so pretty with the feathers, and this skirt is actually pretty full. Now, I know I said that the one shirt and shorts combo reminded me of vacation, but this makes me wanna go somewhere even more. And the sides are completely open, so I would put little shorts underneath it, but I just love this. Even the person, when they were ringing it up, was like, oh my gosh, that is so sweet, and I agree. That might be completely wrong, but I got them and they will fit her at some point. This is another fun skirt. I thought it was really sweet and I have not figured out what she's going to wear with it. That would be really cute tucked in, but I will find something. I was thinking that one white tank top, but I don't know if it'll work with it. I might need a different type of tank for this. And this last item is for dress up. This is a white skirt and then it has silver stars on it. So, I mean, I still would love to get her some true dress up clothes, but I just would have to find the right prices. I probably will look at the fall consignment sale and see their Halloween costumes and use some of those for dress up. I mean, this is a consignment video. I clearly don't like to spend a lot of money on clothes. I did also get her a few pair of shoes, just three but I don't have them with me right now. But she has already worn one pair in one of my most recent Instagram pictures, a cute little like darker brown Steve Madden sandal. They're really, really cute. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you are so that you can see how a lot of these clothes and outfits and accessories come together. That concludes my haul though. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, please do, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.